Hello and welcome food lovers from around the world. For those who don't know, my name is Anna and today I will make Romanian style cheese bites. They are buttery, cheesy, have lots of layers and are usually eaten as a snack or appetizer. Let's see the ingredients. Flour, butter, sour cream, salt, dry yeast and sugar, an egg, cheese, and a little milk. We will begin by mixing the dry yeast and sugar with the warm milk and allowing the yeast to activate. Make sure your milk is not too hot or it can kill the yeast. Next, we need to grate the cheese. We need to use a drier type of cheese, such as Parmesan, Asiago, Gruyere. Traditionally in Romania, we use aged white sheep's cheese, which is also quite dry. We will use some in the dough and some as a topping. This time I used unexpected cheddar from Trader Joe's. It has hints of parmesan notes, so I really like this cheese a lot. Then we mix the flour and the salt together. Of course you can find all the measurements of the ingredients in the description box of my video. We add the activated yeast and milk, the sour cream, or you can use Greek yogurt if you can find sour cream for any reason, and the egg, which we whisk separately. I had this new whisk I was excited to use, but it didn't quite go as expected. My bowl was too small, so the egg started jumping everywhere. We add the room temperature butter and begin mixing everything together. This is not a type of dough that requires a lot of kneading, just bringing everything together. We don't want to develop the gluten in the flour as we want our cheese bites to be crumbly. As soon as the dough comes together and it is not sticky anymore, we cover it and put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes to rest. Now we are ready to create those cheesy layers. We gently flour the work surface and we'll roll our dough thinly, about a quarter of an inch. The dough is very easy to work with, as you can see here. We spread the grated cheese and keep some for sprinkling on top later. We start pressing the cheese a little bit so it won't fall off when we start folding the dough. Now we fold it letter style, sprinkling a little flour in between the folds. Don't overdo the flour though. In the end, we will have a thick square, 
We wrap it in plastic and put it back in the fridge for 30 more minutes to relax and chill. This reminds me of croissant making process. Just much easier. To give them a nice color on top, we will beat an egg with a little paprika powder. The paprika is optional. If you don't have it, an egg will be just fine. We take the dough out and start rolling it again. Sprinkle some flour over and under so it won't stick to the work surface. This time we don't want it too thin, about an inch thick. As toppings you can use lots of different things. This time I made half with cheese and half with caraway seeds. Other options are poppy seeds, sesame seeds, everything bagel seasoning or even plain. We brush the egg wash on top. And we'll sprinkle our toppings. Meanwhile, we preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. I like to cut mines in bite-sized squares, but you could do long strips instead, like uh, grissinis. Both shapes are traditional. A pizza cutter makes it easier to cut. I use this one and cut them even faster. You just have to make sure that you press all of the little rolls down at the same time. I think this should be called Romanian cheesits because they kind of resemble them. We transfer them to a pan, making sure we leave space between them as they will puff up in the oven quite a lot. I think this is the part that takes the longest from the whole recipe. We bake them until golden brown, about 20 to 25 minutes. They smell absolutely amazing. Once cooled, they will be crumbly, cheesy and buttery, or you could say they will be perfect. They keep really well at room temperature in an airtight container. Now enjoy them while on the go or watching your favorite game. They will make you thirsty, so if you want the full traditional Romanian experience, make sure you have some cold beer nearby. Thank you for watching and sharing. Bye!